made me start what got me into comedy because I always wanted to sign with T.I. Like, that's my favorite I rapper. seen that on the interview. You said that Tip. Yeah. You see the nigga about 30 times on the wall right there. Yeah, but he yeah, Tip and me. Yeah, now now yeah, let's I talk. A, a yeah, let, yeah, you with my kids right there. Let's talk about Ti for a second. Yeah. because did you ever meet Ti? Ti, I'm finna show you how. I'm finna tell you how everything come full circle. You know, you know Ti doing comedy right. Correct, now. he doing so comedy. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Well, yeah, what made me start, what got me into comedy, because I always wanted to sign with T.I. Like, that's my favorite I rapper. I seen that on the interview. You said that Tip. Yeah. You see the nigga about 30 times on the wall right there. Yeah, but he, yeah, Tip and me. Yeah, now, now yeah, let's I talk about. Uh, yeah, let, yeah, you with my kids right there. Let's talk about T.I. for a second. Yeah. Because did you ever meet T.I.? Man, I'm finna show you how, I'm finna tell you how everything come full circle. You know, you know T.I. doing comedy right Correct. now. Correct. He doing so comedy. Listen, so boom, but when I, you started, he wasn't doing comedy exactly, at that so time. Exactly, so Moon, listen. And where my backpack at? Go get my backpack out of the car. I got the CD in there. I got to show y'all the case. Yeah, the let's CD talk cover. about it because Tip, Tip is, uh, you know, if you met T.I., he come in, you know, he come in with that, with that, hey, man, you know what I mean? He comes in, he's a very professional dude, mm -hmm. but even from, from the time I known him, because I knew him by, by cool, by the clothing that we yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. the only thing I that linked that me and this nigga together. I seen that in and, uh, But I always had a mad respect and, and, and now, I was a little mad at him about the flip thing. That, that, that When I first oh, yeah, met yeah, him, yeah, 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 I was yeah. able to get past that, but it was like, damn, that nigga, that's the nigga that did that with flip. Now, I'm a Texas hardhead, so, but, as I watched his journey, I started to say, this nigga bad. Like, lyrically, this is a bad dude, man. And then business-wise, I seen the moves. As a dude from the South to come from where he came from, I started looking at the growth potential. And then he got locked up, so I felt sympathy, too. I'm like, damn, my nigga mm -hmm. gone again, you know. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> nigga said, again. Because <laughs> he came home, yeah. and we, was, we flew to... Uh, we flew to the Takers premiere when he was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, we like was in, I was in I L.A. Yeah. I went to L.A. and we, matter of fact, my wife and Tiny up there at the top on that picture. And I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, we here with the boy. You know, he got the, he got the, uh, uh, you know, all these actors. That was when old boy that died. What was his name? Paul, uh, Paul, Walker. Paul, Walker. Paul Walker. And all yeah, them yeah. boys was together. And I was like, man, this going to be great for Tip because he just coming home. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga got arrested again right after that. And so then in the movie, in the movie, it, it portrayed him like as he was just getting out. Yeah, Don't yeah, it was up. dope. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and so when you look at what where he came from and then being in that journey with him and meeting him all those times that we met, I always enjoyed his his whole movement, mm -hmm. man. And then, then what really helped it was people like Lisa, Ralph, uh, Mike, uh, Mark, uh, Jerry, all of the people at RP55 group and and that Jeta guy, Jason Jeta, whatever. Jason Jeta. Yeah, man. all those people that was around him, I was linked with those people. So it didn't matter what he done, the group of people in that family at RP55 and the clothes that we were selling made me respect him. Even Kenyatta, like, they made me, I, I had to move with the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they were posting me on the cool page. I wasn't popular at the time. They made a nigga feel like he was somebody mm. dealing with him. So, yeah, I, I always ride with T.I., man. I always ride with his entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, that's my spirit. favorite rapper. So, let me hear the story on how come, how T.I. dissed you. Oh, I, I heard a little bit about it. Let me know what know happened on that. You. The he backpack is here. Let's talk about yeah, Tip for a minute. He, he technically dissed me. Did he me. diss you? He just inspired me. You know what I He just You know me, I'm going to make it all. That nigga left you, nigga. He just inspired me to, uh. No, nah, Tip or not, he, he a cool comedy. cat, man. He make He make you, he make you, uh. He make you laugh because of his boy. He showed enough pride for when it come down to his family, and not trying to play by his name. Boy, he go he a diss a, that nigga a hell of a diss song. Uh, that nigga a diss a nigga in a minute. That nigga can rap about a nigga, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. So listen, so it was it was 2000. It was 2016. 2016. Yeah, I he, was rocking with him back then. Yeah, he was uh, he was coming to Onyx for his birthday in October. Was that 2016, babe? When, no. he, when he came to Onyx, Onyx okay. for his birthday, like I never forget, I was outside waiting on this nigga about two and a half, three hours. Trade, trade the truth was out there. He the one told me that he was gonna come. He was gonna like plug me in with him when he pull up. So when he pulled up, you know he pulled up in the black truck. He had a driver. Somebody was in the front. It was a girl in the back, and then you know he was in the um he was sitting behind a passenger seat. 
So he was like, all right, there you go. Trey was like, there you go right there. You know, I'm going to let you holler at him and stuff like that. So he walked me over there to the car. He walked me over there to the window. So Maya, it's his birthday. So at this time, me and my homeboy, we was like wearing foxtails and shit like that when nobody wearing them and shit like that. So I had went to Hobby Lobby, bought this nigga like old exclusive ass case, put the foxtail in there and gave it to him as a gift. I told him happy birthday and shit. And then I gave him my CD. The nigga looked at the CD, he chuckled him to him and said, he was like, hmm, you sure you want me to listen to this? I was like, hell yeah, listen to my shit. So then he put the CD down in the uh, in the gift. He put it down in the in the seat. You feel me? So when he got out of the car, only thing only thing I'm thinking like, yeah, but when he get back in his car, he going to look over, he going to look over and he probably going to tell his driver to put that shit in. They going to sign, he going to listen to it, then he going to sign me in like two months. I was like, I'm going to give him two months. Like, if he don't call me in two months, I know what it is, but I like, I know he going to call me. I'm like, I'm signing the hustle game type shit. And then, and then the CD I did, it was his Urban Legend cover. Let me but, see the CD. But but I just redid the cover. Let me so see. this this why he chuckled. This the CD I gave him. And it's called Damn. best. And it's called best name since Tip. And Ti behind. That's my face, nigga. No, nah, in the back here. Nah, nah. That you. But you know, on Urban Legend, if you look up his Urban Legend album, yeah, it's just like that. Hold so on, you finna, basically you look it up for me. I'm finna. I'm finna say. It. Yeah, yeah. This nigga here thing. He think he finna just go blow. He got a whole procedure. Yeah, Cause when you see his cover, when you see the Urban Legend, I seen the Urban Legend cover. You I done what, seen it. I gonna, remember it. You gonna see why he talking to his uh, nigga. Look at that shit like, <laughs> nigga. You sure you want me to listen to this? I'm like, like you got that. Yo, you better be coming with it, nigga, to put your face on my face and be doing all this you doing. Nah, that ain't my face on his face. I went and no. actually bought all the shit he had on, on and put it on. Oh wow. Yeah. You went. I remember distance. the cover. Let me see. You you recreated the whole. Damn. Yeah, I recreate recreated the nigga whole thing. That's yeah, I'm sure it. That show was it. He put that whole together for himself, like this. <laughs> <laughs> but Tip thought he had a damn. What the hell is this nigga doing? It had to take him by storm, bro. I it wish did. I could interview Tip and ask him. And get you on the phone and say, man. I still like it. What's so crazy? You ain't talked to him about this yet? And we, I'm finna get to that. This Boy, nigga, I'm this nigga, don't, this nigga bro, don't look in Atlanta. I feels to tell this nigga. Look, I get to talk to this nigga one day. Man, in Atlanta, this nigga is two time in Atlanta. And two, it's two time he don't perform right after me on some comedy shit. Just coming in, working on this shit. You feel me? Let's he, don't about remember. It. Huh? he don't remember? He don't remember it? I ain't never told him, but I ain't never told him this let's, story. Let's I ain't him, never let's, told let's, him let's, he the reason I'm doing hell comedy. Hell no, nah, nigga. I'm finna put this hoe up, nigga. Y'all do. Gonna take a picture You got of two it. of these or this the only one? That's my only one. Yeah, nigga. Let me take a picture of this. This here is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga. You think you just gonna get on a hustle gang with, with yeah, nigga. You a hell of, I you thought get, that was the way in, too. I was like, yeah, But you yeah, did good, I liked the idea. I love the idea. I love the idea, bro. I ain't finna lie to you. That dope to me. I ain't gonna lie. I love a hustle. I was like, yeah, if I show this nigga homage, he'll sign me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that shit did not yeah, work. Yeah, that, that nigga got the CD here, nigga. That nigga did that. I'm, a matter of fact, ooh, I'm gonna put his by, beside yours, nigga. This better be a hell of an interview. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna see this nigga? Hey, I'm gonna tag that nigga. You ain't gotta worry about it no more. But I, I ain't finished No, no, I'm gonna be meddling there, nigga. I'm gonna put it up, nigga. Yeah, y'all want it. You don't want it bad as my nigga want it. Man, Calamar come through this. Oh, he ain't playing. Y'all niggas play too much. Nah, let's go. I was really out there. So, so let's go with the story. So, so yeah, uh, I give him the CD. Like I said, he put it in the um, back seat or whatnot. So like I said, on the whole time, I'm just thinking like, boy, when he get after this party, when this nigga get back in his car, I already, I just planned it in my head. I'm like, he going to look at the city. He going to give it to his driver. And he going to tell the driver to play it. And they going to ride it, listen to it to the hotel. And then this nigga going to call me and like want to sign me. So I was like, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it two months, 60 days. Man, nigga, about nine months went by. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm depressed. I'm just like, and at this time, I'm looking at my girl, my baby mama. I just looked at her and like, man. Bitch, I'm finna start talking about your ass. You got me fucked. <laughs> like, it's your fault nigga ain't prospering. So, I just wrote a whole bunch of material about, like, what me and my girl was going through. And then, um, I just took that shit to, um, to an open mic. But before I went to the open mic, I was telling niggas at my job, I'm like, bro, I'm finna start doing comedy. Because I've always been a funny nigga, you feel me? Like, people always told me I was funny, but I just didn't never, like, know how to do comedy. And I remember watching stand-up comedy, but I just didn't get it. So 
I was calling around different comedy clubs to see like who allow you to be yourself. Cause I used to hear like, yeah, some comedy clubs they don't allow you to say nigga. Some don't even want you cursing. So I had to like call around different comedy clubs who would let me be myself. And the Arlington Improv was the only one like who let you come in there and just be yourself. So I went to the Arlington Improv. I went up there like two weeks just to check it out. Cause like my first time I went up there like I ain't go perform. I just wanted to check it out, see how this shit go. Air all the comments. They get four minutes. So long story short, man, I went to the Arlington Improv. You know, like the state of that shit, and I seen how many people wasn't getting no laughs. I was like, bro, I can do it. Boy, I know I can make somebody in this bitch laugh. Like, they ain't getting no laughs. You feel me? So the next week I went back, it was October 17, 2017. You remember exactly. Yeah, that. my first time ever performing. And like I've been performing ever since. So when you I killed that bitch. So too. really you in your in your heart, you think T.I. drove you to mm-hmm. comedy? Yeah, cause it was like I ain't, he depressed you that yeah, much. I ain't want to. I ain't want to sign with nobody else but Ti. Cause that was my favorite. He's still my favorite rapper. He's still your favorite. Rapper. I ain't want to sign with nobody but Hustle Gang or Grand Hustle. So when really? he when he yeah, signed me, he ain't me, gonna get it. He gonna find a and different then career. I, then I told myself, I told myself, I ain't want to be one of them niggas who's still trying to rap while they old. So I was like, I'm gonna get my. Cause when I got out of prison, I told myself. Like when I got out 2012, I told myself I'm gonna give myself five years in this rap shit anyway, and if it don't work, I'm gonna just find something else. And just so happened, five years was up in 2017, and I started coming. Damn, why well, y'all tell you that's a good story, man? Yeah, I and like I, and like I say, I be saying T, I see T I all the time in Atlanta. You like, walk on, on the he still don't know. Circuit. He don't know I, that you I that guy. I never to told, him him. told him. I, I'm gonna tell him though. No, you him. don't know after this. I'm gonna tell him. I can promise you. I'm gonna tell him. That's crazy. But what's so crazy, like, I'm... Big T.I. fan. A big T.I. fan, and, like, the doors that I was wanting to open up for rap, it's like all them doors opening up, like, in the comedy game. I don't think I I would have ever been this. What big. song that 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 you sung on your on your on that CD that sound like something like T.I. would have dropped? Uh, switch it up. Um. I got a song in there called uh, "For Years." He had. He I had, just smashed that girl. You've been wanting for years. So, so, so Duro, Duro, not Duro. I'm so. How did I say Duro? Uh, what's that dude name? Man, dang! I said Duro because I was thinking about Duro. What the dude that was on uh, the nigga that performed the other night? When the the, the artist that be with him all the time. Trans Lee. No, the one the, his artist. B.O.B. No, not T.I. artist? Yeah, the one be with T.I. all the time. Dro! Young Dro, yeah, yeah. Dro! Yeah. That's said, more yeah, of my Dro. favorite rappers, too. Dro! Shout out Dro, to Dro. that's why I was talking. Dro, this nigga here. Nah, he. Dro changed his life. Dro hustled hard, though. Dro, Dro was with T.I. and he. I'm thinking of time, the time when you was trying to get on with him. Uh, uh, Dro, Dro, wasn't, Dro wasn't really in the picture. Like he wasn't that. in the picture then. Who was in the picture then? Somebody was in. It was them new niggas. That's why I felt so confident. I was like, bro, I know I'm finna sign with Hustle Gang because I'm looking at his roster. I'm like, bro. These well, niggas ain't hard. What bro. was the guy that passed away? Doby. Uh, Do- Doby was hard. Doby. Nah, that nigga was Doby hard. Was, Doby uh, was hard. But that, that during that time, Doby was grand hustle. Yeah, that so one. You knew T.I. had T.I. had some new shit called Hustle Game. That was like the new yeah, label. Know, yeah, That's know. what I was trying to be on because I was looking at his rock. I'm like, bro, this nigga Tokyo Jets probably about the hardest one on that bitch, and she a girl. You supposed been on that thing. That's what I'm saying. And that depressed my boy. Boy, that's like we back now, nigga. Like, but this nigga did not sign me. <laughs> Push me straight in the comments. Yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.